What's going on everybody, it's your boy Tactics here with another edition of Ask AJ, which is pretty much where you just ask me personal questions because you guys are nosy motherfuckers. I'm just kidding. So, let's get into the first question. The only Sam Sino asks, many people have hated the Batman Forever film, but I enjoyed it a lot and mostly because it was in my childhood, but people always say negative things about the film. What are your personal thoughts on Batman Forever movie? Back when I was younger, I didn't really, I wasn't able to conceptualize a lot of the things that was going on in the film. I just saw a bunch of action and Batman in the suit and everything, and that was good enough for me. Going back and watching it as, as an adult now, I can see a lot of the flaws in those older movies. And we're not even gonna talk about Batman and Robin because that shit was just terrible. But Batman Forever, it's bad. Like it's a really bad film, but I can still sit through it and watch it and everything. There was a lot of stuff that I didn't really like about it. I didn't like the whole neon color like the whole glowing and shit like I didn't that and then Robin and his terrible one-liner holy rusted metal Batman man the only good thing I can actually say about Batman forever is uh, probably Nicole Kidman naked Kimmy W010 asked do you plan on visiting the US soon are you paying for it what's up in Iceman we're actually planning on doing a meet and greet uh, sometime in the near future but of course we have to figure out who would actually come because it wouldn't make sense for us to do a meet and greet when, with only two people showing up yeah I definitely want to uh, do a little bit of traveling and uh, visit some of my followers and stuff like that that'd be really cool just to get to put it like put it like a, a face to all the usernames and stuff because it's getting I'm sorry some of you guys have some crazy usernames that I, like I can't even like pronounce man it's insane like I, you guys are killing me with this shit really Rockstar Ryan asked, what made you start producing and making videos? Okay, so I believe I uh, talked about this in a vlog somewhere, but uh, I'll try to reiterate for those of you guys who haven't seen it. I used to hate being in front of the camera. I, I just felt very out of my element. I was very uncomfortable, I got really nervous, and I would just shut down and stutter and all this stuff like that. It just wasn't my thing. So going into this, I had no intention of ever being in front of a camera whatsoever. When the cameras are off or whatever, or if I'm interacting with my friends or whatever, I act like how I act when I'm tactics to, to, to you guys. Like I just, I'm all crazy and I'm goofy. I met a girl, we started dating, and she wanted me to kind of expand on the whole tactics thing and, and, and get myself out there and start showing the world what I could do and like, like show people that I was actually funny and whatnot. But you know, I Drake, I Drake armed her and I was like, nah, that's not for me. She kept encouraging me and pushing me and pushing me and pushing me. Yeah, you could do it. Nah, Drake arm wasn't feeling it. And so she actually sent me a link to uh, Timothy De La Ghetto's video. Like, fuck, what is it? No racial. I was hooked, man. Like I was like, who is this guy? I want to see more of this guy. You know, I started watching a whole bunch of his videos and he's a funny dude and like I was really into it. And at that time, I didn't know how powerful YouTube was and like I didn't know that there was like a like a whole community where people were doing this shit, you know what I mean? Anyway, long story short, me and uh, the girl, we ended up breaking up. I was fucking devastated, you know, I lost weight, I was, you know, crying every day and shit like that. And then one day I was just like, fuck it, man. I've reached rock bottom, like, you know what I mean? Like, let me just try something new. Let me just do something. Let me revamp myself and shit. So my dad bought me uh, the, the camera that I'm using right now for, uh, for Christmas, maybe four years ago or whatever, and turned it on. Yeah, eventually I just adopted that persona and that, and that lifestyle of, you know, being a video blogger and just started doing videos. And I, it, it was a slow progression. You know, I got my boys involved and everything. And then after that, I realized that this was like my newfound love and it actually helped me uh, deal with that breakup, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it, 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 here I am now, and I'm still making videos and stuff, and I'm still loving what I do. So, that's pretty much how I got started. Super Richie 143 asks, if you could choose five things to take with you while being stranded on an island, what would they be and why? Uh, I would probably take my flip camera because I would want to vlog. It would kind of be like Castaway, where he had the uh, he had the volleyball. It kind of kept him sane. Well, not really, it kind of made him crazy because he was talking to a volleyball. But I mean, if I'm talking to my flip, then I guess it, it'd be somewhat of a companion in a way. I would probably bring a book of some sort. I don't really read all that much, but if I'm gonna be stranded on a desert island, it's a great time to start. I'd probably bring a picture of like Vida Guerrera or something. I don't even know if you're, I'm pronouncing her name right, but you know, for those lonely nights on the island, you know, a brother needs something to like, <laughs> I'd probably bring my phone. Hopefully there's Wi-Fi on the island, cause you know, I gotta keep up with my people and be tweeting and shit. For the last thing, 
I'd probably bring a sweater because, you know, chances are the island's going to be pretty cold at night. Tsunami1214 asks, Man, how come I didn't know you were having a Q&A vid? Just wondering, what movie are you working out for? The movie that I'm working on is a movie that I wrote uh, a couple months back. I am starring in it as well as uh, directing it somehow. I play a s criminal turned superhero. I figured, you know, if I'm going to play the part of a superhero, I might as well look the part. That's why I am working out. Lola Bell 307 asks, what's your nationality? Would you date women in any race and what race you date from the most, lol. I was born and raised in Canada. My dad was born in Jamaica. Uh, my mom was born in Jamaica as well, but she's half Jamaican, half Cuban. Would you date women in any race? Uh, it depends on the woman. I am not opposed to uh, dating other races. Uh, in fact, I have dated other races with the exception of Asian girls. I don't know what it is. I just for some reason, Asian girls just don't like me. I don't know why. I've always had bad luck with the Asians. I mean, it really all depends on if the girl makes me happy. I mean, yes, everyone has their particular preferences, but regardless of what race she is, as long as she makes me happy and I'm attracted to her and we're compatible, then fuck it. Yeah, man, I will wipe that in a second. DJ Taco 15 asks, Who's your favorite hip hop artist? I don't really have a favorite, but right now I'm really into uh, Childish Gambino. Damien J. Vega asks, did you like any superhero besides Batman? Uh, yes, I did. I actually uh, liked uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man was the other uh, superhero that I really liked. To be honest, now that I think about it, I didn't really ha like a whole lot of superheroes. I wasn't really big on, on the Hulk. X-Men wasn't really my thing. Um, I mean, they are now, I mean, but that was only because of the movies that came out. Uh, but I never really watched, I never really got into the cartoon. Although X-Men Evolution was the shit. I don't know why they canceled it, but that, that show was legit. I, I actually watched that show. Uh, but yeah, Spider-Man was, uh, he was, he was the shit. I, I actually liked Spider-Man. We got a Twitter question. Uh, Cindy asks, so, did you get the Batman boxers today like you said you would? Come on, Cindy. Ask, how tall are you? I am 5'11". I didn't quite make it up to 6. And I, I think a lot of that height actually comes from my head because my head is humongous. HD Fearless asks, if the couch is facing us, why the TV behind the couch? That's a good fucking question, man. There, you happy now? So I'm sure this video is long enough, so that's all the questions I'm going to answer for this week. I'll try to get around to answering the other questions in another video, but feel free to submit new questions that you want to ask me. And by the way, I have a P.O. box right now, so if you guys want to send me like, you know, uh, like, a, like a card or a candle, fire. The link will be down in the description below. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm your boy Tactics. Peace, and I'm out.